Um, today, the club is going to be announcing a very um, important and exciting announcement that uh, we'll be putting out to our supporters and to the media uh, while you guys are at training. I wanted to make sure that you're the first ones to hear it. That announcement is the fact that uh, the coach has extended his contract for another two years. So, um, and and it is a it's a huge announcement. And um, and uh, when we look at where we're at as a club at the moment, you know, and we're looking at this period and era of success, the announcement today is not only about locking in our key leader. Um, of the program, but it is about stability. It's, it's, when you look at all the teams in the modern era that have delivered eras of success, they've had this consistent, stable leadership, and this is another big step forward for us. So I know you guys will be wrapped about it. Uh, believe me, the entire club, supporters, members, coteries, corporate sponsors, the board, staff, um, when this announcement goes out today, Everyone will be absolutely wrapped and, and everyone loves you, Goody, and, and um, we, we thank you for locking in for another couple of years to the end of uh, 2024. And I have no doubt that you'll be here for another 10 years, but it's important that we put this in place. Uh, I think it's really important to acknowledge this group here. Um, we see that as sort of the outcome of the work that you've put in from the day you've got here, from the... Uh, the work to build this high performance culture that uh, the energy, the enthusiasm, the, the belief that you have in every single one of these players and the staff, um, what you've done to deliver that high performance uh, culture. Again, I, I just can't thank you enough. Uh, the fact that you have changed this club, like there's no doubt um, when we look at all the people, whether they're the supporters or this player group, um, you've changed their lives. Um, the fact that that journey is going to continue for another uh, two years is just so important for this and you're loved by everyone here. So thanks for locking into that. Um, and I don't want to embarrass you. And I th I've been thinking about whether I talk to this group about this or not. Um, but we're all in this together. So I, I want to talk about something because I think it goes to the heart of the demon spirit. I, th I think it goes to the character of our key leader of the club. And like I said, I don't want to embarrass Goody, but the reality is, as we sat down with Goody to start talking to him about his contract, myself and Richo, um, you guys know that there's been massive uh, cuts in the soft cap, $3 million cut back. When we sit down with Goody to start talking about his, his contract, um, He's, he's in a pretty strong negotiating position. He's got a fair bit of leverage. He's the current premiership coach. He's acknowledged by the industry as the number one coach in the AFL. He's just delivered a premiership after 57 years and fundamentally changed the club and, and was certainly hitting the ground running this year. He's in a pretty strong negotiating position. Uh, I hope I'm not out of line here by saying Goody. It was really reasonable for Goody to sit down in those conversations and say, you know, I want to be looked after to the levels of premiership coaches that are just in the competition. It's not unreasonable to want that uh, sort of contract. Um, the reality of where our soft cap is now, um, I, can, I can guarantee that that would create changes within our football program. Um, we, we could not have delivered that with the, uh, the current soft cap. And, um, I can guarantee when we sat down with Goody to talk about his contract, there was no talk about money. It was all about the fact that we need to keep this program going. I want to know that we'll do a deal. He loves the place. He's not going anywhere. But we'll, we'll do a deal, and I need to know that it's not going to have any impact on anyone else in the footy department in that uh, soft cap. And we ultimately uh, uh, got to a point like today where we've done the deal. Um, but again, I don't talk about co contracts and I hope I'm not being inappropriate, but uh, Goody's needed to leave a lot of money on the negotiation table to find a solution and not have any impact on anyone else in the, in the program. So uh, for that whole term of the contract. So 
like I said, goes to the character of our leader. It also goes to, I think, the spirit of the club right at the moment. So, Goody, wanted to say congratulations and thank you. And again, put your hands together for the coach. Thanks, mate. Thanks, Goody. Thanks, Tony, and obviously um, I get pretty embarrassed about this stuff, but I love this footy club, I love these players, I love the people I work with. We have an amazing program, and it's not about one person, it's about every single person that's here that makes this footy club great. So um, I'm honoured to be able to coach you guys for another two years post this year. So thanks for all the support you give me. Um, we're only just starting late, so just jump into it. All right.